Vicious terrorist attack kills 80 at military graduation ceremony in Syria. Days after it was revealed that the Kyiv regime offered to attack military assets of Iran and Syria with drones and other ways, if they were given the means to do it, a vicious terrorist attack with drones was carried out in Syria, killing at least 80. Some officials of Ukraine's Kyiv regime recently talked about being a part of the United States and its allies fight elsewhere as if the regime is not already overwhelmed with its failed counteroffensive against Russian forces. Their thinking was that this would make the regime more valuable to the United States and keep the American dollars flowing to Kyiv. It has been years since the Western-backed terrorists in Syria were able to carry out such attacks in the heart of Syria. Clearly, they had foreign help, and the key regime must be included on that list along with the United States. The drones struck the Syrian graduation ceremony at a military college. In addition to 80 known to have been killed, and that number is most likely going to rise, at least 240 were wounded. This includes men, women, children, and Syrian armed forces. Family members were present at the military academy in the province of Homs. Apparently, Ali Mahmoud Abbas, Syria's defense minister, had just left the graduation ceremony only minutes before this attack took place. The ceremony had completed and the people were gathering in the courtyard when the drone struck. This attack also comes days after a United States military jet shot down what it claims was an armed Turkish drone in northeast Syria. Turkey says it did not have a drone in the area. There are hundreds of American forces illegally stationed in northeast Syria. And now this facilitates... And it's for the purpose of facilitating the stealing of Syrian oil and taking it into Iraq in tankers. This is T-West with Afro-Sanity News.